Welcome to Motive Emistery, where the wisdom of the ages meets the challenges of today. In this video, we delve into the intriguing life and philosophy of Jean-Paul Sartre, the eminent existentialist philosopher, playwright, and novelist. Sartre, known for his profound and complex ideas, has significantly influenced existential philosophy and literature. His works, rich with existential themes and critical analysis of human freedom and condition, continue to stimulate thinkers and readers worldwide. Sartre's philosophy, which emphasizes human freedom and the responsibility that comes with it, has left a lasting impact on modern thought. Join us as we explore 30 of his most poignant quotes, shedding light on their timeless relevance and the deep insights they provide into our contemporary lives. If you're lonely when you're alone, you're in bad company. Stemming from the existential thoughts of Jean-Paul Sartre, this quote reflects his philosophy on individual existence and self-reliance. Emphasizing the importance of being at peace with oneself, this quote encourages introspection and self-acceptance. In an age where social connections are often superficial, this quote reminds us of the value of being content in our own company. Do you think that I count the days? There is only one day left, always starting over. It is given to us at dawn and taken away from us at dusk. This statement from Sartre's existentialist perspective highlights the perpetual renewal of life each day. It speaks to the essence of living in the present, emphasizing the fleeting nature of each day. In our modern life, it reminds us to value every day as a unique opportunity, not to be overshadowed by the past or future. I'm going to smile, and my smile will sink down into your pupils, and heaven knows what it will become. This poetic expression by Sartre explores the profound impact of human connections. It captures the transformative power of a simple smile and its ripple effect on others. This quote is a reminder of how our actions, even as simple as a smile, can profoundly affect those around us in today's interconnected world. Hell is other people. Sartre's famous line from his play No Exit reflects his views on the complexities of human relationships and freedom. It underscores the existential belief that our interactions with others can be a source of personal anguish. In the context of contemporary society, it serves as a poignant reminder of the impact our social environment has on our personal well-being. Man is condemned to be free, because once thrown into the world, he is responsible for everything he does. It is up to you to give life a meaning. This reflects Sartre's existentialist viewpoint on the burden of freedom and personal responsibility. It highlights the concept that freedom involves both the liberty and the responsibility to make choices. In modern society, it reminds us that while we are free to choose our path, we are also accountable for the choices we make. Freedom is what we do with what is done to us. Sartre articulates the idea that freedom lies in our responses to life's events, not just the events themselves. It's about the power to choose our reaction to circumstances beyond our control. This quote is especially relevant today, encouraging us to find agency and purpose even in situations not of our making. We are our choices. This succinct statement encapsulates Sartre's belief in existentialism and the centrality of personal choice. It emphasizes the idea that our identity is shaped by the choices we make. In contemporary life, it serves as a powerful reminder that we define ourselves through our actions and decisions. Better to die on one's feet than to live on one's knees. Though not originally from Sartre, this quote reflects the sentiment aligned with existentialist values of authenticity and self-determination. It underscores the importance of living life with dignity and standing up for one's beliefs. This quote resonates in today's context, advocating for the courage to live true to oneself despite external pressures or challenges. It's quite an undertaking to start loving somebody. You have to have energy, generosity, blindness. There is even a moment right at the start where you have to jump across an abyss. If you think about it, you don't do it. This quote delves into the complexities and risks involved in the act of falling in love, as seen by Sartre. It points to the required emotional courage and leap of faith needed to initiate love. In today's context, it reminds us that starting a relationship requires not just feelings, but also a bold step beyond rational considerations. I am alone in the midst of these happy, 
reasonable voices. All of these creatures spend their time explaining, realizing happily that they agree with each other. In heaven's name, why is it so important to think the same things all together? Sartre expresses his feelings of isolation amidst a conformist society in this quote. It challenges the notion of conformity and the importance placed on unanimous thinking. This quote is particularly relevant in encouraging individual thought and questioning societal norms in our modern world. Three o'clock is always too late or too early for anything you want to do. This Sartre quote captures the arbitrary nature of time and our perception of it. It reflects on the human tendency to perceive time as a barrier to our desires and actions. In today's fast-paced society, it resonates as a reminder to be mindful of how we perceive and use our time. When the rich wage war, it's the poor who die. This quote from Sartre highlights the social and economic disparities in the context of war and conflict. It emphasizes the often overlooked fact that the burdens of war are disproportionately borne by the less fortunate. In our contemporary world, this statement remains relevant, shedding light on the inequalities exacerbated by conflicts. There may be more beautiful times, but this one is ours. Sartre's quote reflects an acceptance and appreciation of one's own era, despite its imperfections. It conveys the idea that every era has its unique beauty and challenges, which are ours to experience and navigate. This quote is especially poignant today, encouraging us to embrace and make the most of our current times, regardless of their flaws. You are your life and nothing else. This powerful statement by Sartre emphasizes the existentialist idea that individuals define themselves through their life experiences. It asserts that our identity is not determined by external factors, but by our actions and choices. In the modern context, it serves as a reminder to take ownership of our lives and be the architects of our destiny. I want to leave, to go somewhere where I should be really in my place, where I would fit in. But my place is nowhere, I am unwanted. Sartre expresses the existential feeling of not belonging and the search for a place in the world. It highlights the struggle with identity and the quest for self-acceptance in an indifferent world. This quote resonates in today's society, reminding us of the importance of finding our own space and the challenge of fitting in. Everything has been figured out except how to live. This Sartre quote succinctly captures the irony of human knowledge versus the complexity of life. It underscores our extensive understanding of the world around us but our struggle with the fundamental question of living. In our modern context, it serves as a reminder of the need to explore and understand the art of living beyond mere knowledge. My thought is me, that's why I can't stop. I exist because I think and I can't stop myself from thinking. At this very moment it's frightful if I exist, it is because I am horrified at existing. I am the one who pulls myself from the nothingness to which I aspire. This quote reflects Sartre's existentialist exploration of consciousness and existence. It emphasizes the incessant nature of thought and its integral role in our existence. In today's world, it speaks to the perpetual internal dialogue and the existential angst of finding meaning in existence. Life begins on the other side of despair. Sartre's quote conveys the idea that overcoming despair is a pivotal moment in embracing life fully. It suggests that through confronting and surmounting our deepest challenges, we truly begin to live. This quote is particularly relevant today, encouraging resilience and the pursuit of meaning beyond hardship. She believed in nothing. Only her skepticism kept her from being an atheist. This quote reflects Sartre's nuanced view on belief and skepticism. It portrays the complex nature of faith and doubt, where skepticism itself becomes a form of belief. In the contemporary context, it highlights the intricate relationship between belief systems and individual questioning. Man can will nothing unless he has first understood that he must count on no one but himself, that he is alone, abandoned on earth in the midst of his infinite responsibilities, without help, with no other aim than the one he sets himself with no other destiny than the one he forges for himself on this earth. Sartre explores the existential theme of individual autonomy and responsibility in this quote. It emphasizes the idea that true freedom comes from self-reliance and embracing our inherent responsibilities. This statement resonates in today's society, 
underscoring the importance of self-determination and personal accountability. Like all dreamers, I confuse disenchantment with truth. Sartre's quote reflects on the dreamer's tendency to blur the lines between idealism and reality. It suggests that in seeking greater truths, one often faces the disillusionment of ideals. This quote is relevant today, reminding us of the challenges in balancing dreams with the realities of life. Life has no meaning a priori, it is up to you to give it a meaning, and value is nothing but the meaning that you choose. Sartre's statement encapsulates the existentialist view that life's meaning is not inherent but created by individuals. It emphasizes personal responsibility in assigning meaning and value to our lives. This quote is particularly relevant in today's world, encouraging self-creation and personal agency. All that I know about my life, it seems, I have learned in books. This quote reflects Sartre's belief in the profound impact of literature and philosophy on personal understanding. It highlights how books can be instrumental in shaping one's knowledge and perspective on life. In our contemporary era, it serves as a reminder of the value of reading and continuous learning. Words are loaded pistols. Sartre's metaphor emphasizes the power and potential danger of language. It suggests that words can have a profound impact, both constructive and destructive. This quote is increasingly significant in our modern world, where communication shapes realities and perceptions. The more sand that has escaped from the hourglass of our life, the clearer we should see through it. This Sartre quote reflects on the clarity that comes with age and experience. It suggests that as we progress through life, we gain a better understanding of its true nature. In today's context, it reminds us of the wisdom that often comes with the passage of time. I am going to outlive myself. Eat, sleep, sleep, eat. Exist slowly, softly, like these trees, like a puddle of water, like the red bench in the streetcar. This quote from Sartre expresses a desire for a peaceful, unhurried existence, in contrast to the frantic pace of modern life. It portrays a yearning for simplicity and a more natural rhythm of life. The quote resonates today as a call to appreciate slower, more mindful ways of living. He was free, free in every way, free to behave like a fool or a machine, free to accept, free to refuse, free to equivocate, to marry, to give up the game, to drag this death weight about with him for years to come. He could do what he liked. No one had the right to advise him. There would be for him no good or evil unless he thought them into being. Sartre here explores the concept of absolute freedom and the responsibility it entails. It highlights the existential idea that freedom involves making choices without external moral constraints. This quote is particularly relevant in discussions about personal autonomy and the construction of moral values. In love, one and one are one. This quote by Sartre captures the essence of unity and oneness experienced in profound love. It suggests that in true love, individual identities merge into a singular, harmonious existence. In today's context, it reminds us of the profound connection and completeness found in loving relationships. It is therefore senseless to think of complaining since nothing foreign has decided what we feel, what we live, or what we are. Sartre emphasizes the existential belief in personal responsibility for one's feelings and existence. It implies that our experiences and identities are self-determined, not shaped by external factors. This quote is relevant today in encouraging self-awareness and accountability for our lives. Smooth and smiling faces everywhere, but ruin in their eyes. This Sartre quote pointedly captures the disparity between external appearances and internal realities. It suggests that beneath the surface of outward contentment, there may lie deeper struggles and despair. In our modern society, it serves as a reminder of the often hidden complexities of human emotions and experiences. Appreciation for joining our journey.